Sinabi ninyo na may masamang mafia sa pill health. Uh, ginamit yes. ko yung term na masama kasi uh, sinabi ni Dennis Adres sila daw yung magubuting mafia. No? Pero dun sa mafia na yon, kung merong godfather, itinuturo ninyo na si Secretary Duque mismo ang godfather nito. Masasabi mo ba kung bakit? Ito po ay una kong katanungan kay Secretary Duque. Secretary Duque? Nadidilig po ba ninyo ako? Uh, yan po, uh, Your Honor. Uh, nadidilig ko na po kayo. Maraming salamat. Okay. Salamat po. Secretary Duque, doktor po kayo, hindi po ba? Uh, tama po kayo, ma'am. At hindi lamang po doktor, kundi administrador din? Uh, uh, tama po kayo, ma'am. Bilang isang doktor, pag may nakita kayong sa pasyente ninyo isang sintoma, halimbawa, uh, may nakikita kang hindi tama o kaya may bukol, uh, hindi ba mas lalo mong kikilatisin at iimbestigahan? Uh, tama po kayo, Your Honor. At pag nakita naman ninyo na maaaring makasama ito sa kalaunan, ay... Agad ninyong susupuin, di ba? Uh, tama po kayo, Your Honor. Gamot o kaya operahan nyo para matanggal? Uh, tama po. Bilang isang doktor po, uh, dapat po yun ang uh, gagawin. Pero alam nyo po, parang ang sakit na nararanasan ngayon ng PhilHealth ay isang cancer na. Dahil paulit-ulit po itong nangyayari noon pa. At ang masasabi lamang natin, kung merong isang tao na may institutional knowledge ng PhilHealth, uh, kung ibabase natin sa haba ng paninilpihan bilang isang pinuno, e eh kayo po yun. Sapagkat ilang taon po kayo sa PhilHealth bilang chairman or president? Uh, bilang president from 2001 to 2005 and then as chairman po from 2005 to 2010. Tapos itong uh, nabalik ako noong 2017, uh, Your Honor. So masasabi natin na halos labing isang taon kayong naninilpihan sa PhilHealth? As chairman and president pa. Kaya nga, so sa tagal ng panahon po na yon, ang masasabi lang na natin, uh, paulit-ulit ninyong binabanggit ano, na kayo ay may krusada laban sa korupsyon. Subalit, Parang taliwas ito sa mga napapakita ninyo. At sasabihin ko kung bakit. Yung isang ang arti, uh, article dito sa Inquirer, sinasabi na 4,357 administrative cases since uh, that was submitted in 2018, not one was actually acted upon. Can you comment on this? Uh... Yung po kasi ng uh, ano pong taon nito ma'am? Anong taon nito ma Basta 2018 ang nababanggit doon sa 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 artikulo na 'yon. Oho. Uh, ma'am, yung pong uh, governance uh, scorecard na pinagawa po natin for PhilHealth, inaddress po natin na uh, yung turnaround time kasi nakaka-frustrate uh, yung pong uh, paglilitis ng mga kaso parang sobrang napakatagal. Kaya nga po, nabanggit ko yung 3,000 cases ng uh, cataract uh, fraud, uh, fraudulent cases, ay na-archive pa nga po. At nung bumalik ako, ang sabi ko, ilabas niyo ulit siya mga kaso na yan. Hindi naman pwedeng i-archive lang yan. So, isinama ko na po ito doon sa mga governance uh, reform natin na yung turnaround time ng mga uh, kaso Uh, ng uh, administrative cases uh, ng PhilHealth, ay dapat they have to uh, expedite uh, okay. to its uh, logical conclusion. Each okay. of these Excuse cases. me, Mr. Secretary. Okay. So that's your pronouncement now. Pero ito po ay kontra sa mga nagiging hakbang ninyo. Kasi ang bilis ninyong magpa-transfer ng mga sa pananaw ng iba ay hindi kaalyado na tatapon sa kung saan saang ibang rehiyon. Uh, dahil hindi isang ayon doon sa ibang polisiya ninyo, ang bilis ninyong gumawa nun, 
Pero yung mga kaso at yung mga iba noon, hindi naman komplikado. Kung kayo po ay may liderato na malakas, eh, di ba, idol naman ninyo, ang Pangulo natin na mabilis mag-action, bakit hindi ninyo nagagawa yan sa period? Are you bogged down with administrative cases? Eh, di ba, nag-civil service pa nga kayo? Um, mapunta na lang ako kay Mr. Adre, Dennis Adre. Mr. Adre, um, actually, bago po kayo, no? Uh, babalikan ko na lang muna kayo, Mr. Adre, ma- maya-maya. Uh, dito sa nabanggit ni Mr. Keith, okay, nandiyan ba si Attorney Keith? Yes, ma'am. Attorney Keith, sinabi ninyo na may masamang mafia sa PhilHealth. Uh, ginamit ko yung term na masama kasi uh, sinabi ni Dennis Adre, sila daw yung magubuting mafia, no? Pero doon sa mafia na yon, kung merong godfather, itinuturo ninyo na si Secretary Duque mismo ang godfather nito. Masasabi mo ba kung bakit? Ngayon na nandito siya sa ating um, pagdinig. Yes ma'am, uh, na may tuturing ko po na siya po yung godfather po ng uh, mafia. So ang dahilan po na marami po siya mga, at marami po rin siya mga, mga uh, ibig... kinaprobahan niya. Ma'am, doon po sa, ano, sa interim reimbursement mechanism, ma'am. Uh, siya, siya mismo ang nag-aproba? Uh, I-share ma ba siya doon? Siya po yung chairman po, ma'am. As a chairman, meron pong due diligence po na uh, gagawin ng isang isang chairman, ma'am. And considering that he is a doctor and mayroon siyang institutional knowledge sa pamamalakad sa pilat, sa unang tingin pa lang po ay eh, makikita na po agad na siya ay eh, maanomalya. Uh, kumpara niyo po sa akin na uh, 9 months lang sa PhilHealth, nakikita ko na po na marami pong uh, fraud and uh, corruption sa PhilHealth. So parang sinasabi ninyo, aside from complicit activities, uh, merong command responsibility dapat, di ba? Meron po, meron po siyang command responsibility. At uh, halos ma'am, lahat po ng mga members ng Mafia, ma'am, ay mga halos uh, siya po yung nag-approve ng appointments nila, ma'am. Mga members ng ano po? Ng Mafia, ma'am. Uh, okay. Uh, so, babalik ako. Maraming salamat, Attorney Keith. So, mabalik ako kay Secretary Duque. I think nagre-refresh yata. Um, Secretary Duque, nawawala kayo online. Um, Secretary, uh, pag bumalik na lang si Secretary Duque, paki alert na lang siguro. So, habang wala pa si Secretary Duque, doon muna ako kay Mr. Adre. Dennis Adre. Ano na wawala pa rin ako? Uh, regional VP Adre. Oh, Sir President, yes. Mr. President, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Adre, Napanggit po ninyo na meron kang binanggit na plan 5 million. Tama ba 'yung pagkarinig ko? Tama po, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Since, uh, kailan po kayo nag-umpisa sa PhilHealth? Uh, nag-start po ko sa PhilHealth 1998, uh, Your Honor. So 'yung 'yung plan 5 million, kailan po 'yon at ano 'yon? Paki-explica po. Yung plan, plan, yung, 'Yun po 'yung plan 5 million. Eh ni launch ni former president and CEO Dr. Duque noong election ng 2004 noong pong may survey na the late uh, FPJ ay nangunguna ng 5 million votes sa survey kaya po 5 million din ang uh, cards na ipinamigay ay ng filial na libre. Yun, kami po mga regional vice presidents ay pinatawag sa isang pulong sa central office kung saan in-explain kung paano po ang distribution. At uh, sa maalala ko po, kaya kami rin nagkaroon po ng konting hidwaan dahil nilinaw ko po kung bakit si dating Mayor Duterte na noy mayor po ng Davao eh hindi niya pinabibigyan ng cards, ng filial cards. At ang tugon po niya Actually, nagalit po siya dahil bakit daw isinulat ko at incriminating daw po yun. No, ang tugon ko po naman, 
ay kung if there's nothing criminal about what we're doing, there's nothing incriminating about it. In fact, uh, yun po ang unang dahilan ng pagkalugi ng PhilHealth. Yun po ang unang dahilan kung bakit na, na, natalo po ang PhilHealth for the unpaid premiums which PS, CSO was supposed to pay. And that was the first time that uh, the financial statements of PhilHealth had been uh, window dressed. In fact, uh, Your Honor, in one of the uh, visits, in one of the meetings in Malacanang recently, no less than uh, former Senior Vice President for Finance, Greg Rulloda, admitted uh, during that meeting that financial statements had indeed been window dressed in the past several years. But it started during 2004 because they had to make up for the losses that were incurred for non-payment of uh, premiums during the plan 5 million. Salamat po uh, sa paglilinaw niyan. Alam niyo, hindi lamang ito dahil konektado ito sa akin. Alam ito ni Senate President Soto yung napagdaanan uh, noong 2004. Pero yun nga eh, ginagamit ang isang institusyon ng gobyerno uh, para sa sariling layunin. Hindi naman yata tama yon, lalong-lalo na na malapit na yung eleksyon nun. Eh baka ulit-ulitin yan. Uh, at kahit hindi naman pinagplanuan, basta nagbigay na lang ng mga card na ganun para lamang masabi na uh, para makalamang sila, di ba? Parang, parang binibili mo na rin yung boto sa ganong klaseng paraan, hindi po ba? Your Honor, uh, ang amin pong pakiramdam ay ang PhilHealth ay pag-aari ng lahat ng Pilipino regardless of political affiliation eh, ang PhilHealth ho ay a political organization so kaya po nanindigan kami pero yun pong mga nanindigan katulad ni um, ang nawala na pong si Manager Linda Laureta uh, siya po ay dalaga pero ini-assign po siya sa Marawi ina Assign po siya. Doon po nagsimula din ang mga reassignment, reassignment kapag hindi ka sumunod o kinwestiyon mo ang mga illegal na pinagagawa. Tama. Ilan po kami ang... Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Oo, oh, narinig po nga yun kanina eh. Um, maraming salamat po, uh, Mr. Adre. Alam mo, actually, hindi naman natin sinasabi na... Hindi ko alam yung record ninyo. Y- yun yung totoo. No? Uh, pero ako yung nagpapasalamat na at least sa panahon na ito ay naglakas loob kayo na magsiwalat ng mga alam ninyo. Um, sa susunod ko naman na katanungan kay Secretary Duque, ngayon na nandito na ba si Secretary Duque? Secretary? Mukhang selective na nawawala. Eh. Di ba, Lev? Uh, yes, pali- yes, pali- Your Honor. I can hear you now. I can hear you now, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Um, Noong 2016 po, ang Food and Drug uh, Authority ay in-order yung suspension ng Doctors Pharmaceuticals Incorporated, DPI, na pagmamayari ng inyong pamilya dahil sa non-compliance uh, with good manufacturing practices. Alam niyo po yun? Uh, narinig ko po yan noong uh, last year in the Senate hearing, uh, but I just would like to... Uh, reiterate that uh, my uh, I divested uh, sold my share uh, in the doctor's pharmaceutical company in okay, 2005 exactly exactly sir because you you also mentioned that when you were appointed health secretary in 2017 DPI was still in business with the DOH and in fact you apparently you you mentioned that your brother should stop bidding with the DOH because of possible conflict of interest. Am I correct? You raised you raised that with your brother. Uh, he, uh, yes, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. On the other hand, in 2019, a case was filed against you because of conflict of interest over the six-year lease of your property by the PhilHealth. And your reasoning then was uh, PhilHealth requested that you continue with that lease because uh, they really need the facility. And you were saying that at that point, you weren't any more part of your company's business, but in fact, records will show that you haven't really divested at the time 
um, that the lease was ongoing and you were head of uh, field health in 2017. Am I correct? Uh, the my recollection, uh, Your Honor, uh, is that when I when I signed the contract between PhilHealth and uh, uh, when I was president of the university, which uh, owns the uh, property, I was out of government. I was with uh, I was in the Gupan and. Uh, 2017, I got appointed by uh, President Duterte, and uh, my understanding was that PhilHealth was looking for a new building. Uh, okay, okay, to but transfer. But, but oh. as soon as you assumed office, you haven't really divested yet at that point, right? Uh, yes, Your Honor, but uh, okay. I was, well, uh, that, that's okay. The... Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Secretary. Since um, doctor po kayo, explain na lang and please uh, pardon my pronouncement if I don't pronounce it right. Uh, let me give you an example of Midas fraud and abuse findings apparently. And, and let me just make a note. Huh? A lot of the documents that were sent to the Senate were sent at the last minute. I think some of them were received just yesterday. And this is almost like dumping on us all of these voluminous papers and at the last minute we have to review each and every one of them there's no i i, I think it's almost like uh intentional that this is being done but anyway in the minus fraud and abuse findings when it comes to the the bribement of eczematous skin can you please explain to me what that is the the bereavement the bereavement of uh, examitus yes yes your honor uh, of examitus uh, scheme means uh, cleaning uh, sterilizing uh, the affected area. Okay, um, did it come to your attention? The average, kasi nationally, I'd say, would probably be well, it ranges from thirty three million to about 737,000. So, yung high is 33 million, yung low is 700,000. So, napakalaki ng agwat. And, yun pang pinakamalaking agwat ay sa iisang lugar. I'm not going to mention the name of the professional involved, okay? Because I think that I don't want to focus on a personality here, but the symptom of a larger institutional problem. So, in this one region, Parang uh, 50, parang lumalabas na 56 million ang ibinayad. One is for 33 million, another for 23 million. Uh, for four years lang. Isang ano lang yan, ha? isang case lang yan. So kung talagang merong ano, yan, pwede na yan tignan. Tapos hindi lamang yon. Merong isang clinic na nag-submit ng fraudulent reimbursement claims in 2018, the year uh, before you were appointed. On average, their dialysis machines uh, capacity was 100 to 133 percent. Pero, nung sinabmit yon, ito yung B-Bron Abitum, uh, you still gave them 45.17 million under the IRM. May official receipt pa ito. So parang yung mga nagkakaroon ng kaso ay nabibigyan. I mean, let's not get into the detail of um, what the case is right now. But this is what I'm saying. They already have pending cases. They've been found to be uh, doing something less than exemplary. And yet they continuously receive funding from the DOH. This is either negligence or malice. So what would it be in your case? As chairman of the board. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I would like uh, this question because kano uh, ito Pardon me, uh, with all due respect, you very operational. Can I? Uh, I don't have the details of this. Can I just please refer to field health management to That's address okay, this? Because I will ask you to submit on record your answer to those cases. Yes, I, I think that would be better, and that would be more. 
um, efficient at this point because we have other we have other topics to get to. Um, Secretary Duque, sinabi niyo kanina no um, that you did your best, but your best wasn't good enough. Parang may karuntong na kanta to eh sa isang kanta, di ba? Pero tama ang karuntong nito. So here we are, back where we started. Um, so, 11 years na po kayo dyan. Paulit-ulit lang yung nangyayari. Ano ang solusyon na naiiba ngayon na hindi ninyo nagawa noon? Alam nyo, marami nang humingi ng inyong pagbibitiro. Pero kayo mismo, hindi ninyo inakala na magbigay ng kortusiyang ganon. Sapagkat tinan mo, sabi mo nga, your best is not good enough. But you're continuing, you're still there in that agency. So how would you answer that? Ang uh, nasabi ko po, uh, Madam Senator, is that if others uh, think that uh, I have not, uh, that my best is not good enough, and then that's uh, that's their uh, opinion, that's their judgment. What I was referring to was the others who, if they don't think that my best is good enough. Thank well, you. you know what, sir? I think um, the numbers will show that you have failed miserably as the lead of both PhilHealth and the DOH. Okay, so that may be my opinion, but I think that I'm in good company of not only the numbers who would believe in that, but also those that are actually knowledgeable in that field, particularly in the medical field. Um, so, Mr. President, with what's happening today, I, I'm sure that there are already many, uh, our colleagues have other questions to ask, but I think we've established that there is a cyclical pa pattern in the field health, and we really need more courageous individuals to come forward and validate all of these suspicions that we have, and in some cases, actually facts already. Um, Mr. President, I know that there's a Whistleblowers Act uh, that gives some sort of support for those that will call attention to fraudulent activities in government or corrupt, uh, corruption in government. Uh, but I, I would also like to explore the possibility that with the own funds, I, I don't know if this will be proper or legal, but perhaps we can explore how the Senate in itself, with our own budget, even if I know that we're all strapped for funding, but how can we help these who will come forward, if not scholarships for their children? I know that the Senate maintains uh, an account and it's led by a very reliable colleague of ours, Senator Lacson, who also heads, uh, uh, who knows about the um, intelligence fund of the Senate. Maybe we can use it in the future to incentivize those that will come forward. If not a uh, direct monetary contribution to them, maybe in terms of scholarships or, or other incentives. So that's all, Mr. President. Uh, thank you.